guides to raise and lost in paperback for scrapbook boutique and today I'm going to use this really cute set and from Avery L. it's called storybook and I just thought I'd show you that it has a matching die set which is really cute too but I'm not going to be using that today I'll be stamping out a panel that I've already cut this is just from a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to be colouring with some Prismacolor pencils now I'm going to start by randomly stamping the images with some VersaFine. This is vintage sepia. Just all over the panel. I find it easier to start with the bigger images because there's lots of large and small images in this set. And then I can just kind of fill in the gaps with the small images in. So now I'm going to use heaps of colours and I've got my Zestit and my um, blending stumps and pencils. So I'll get colouring and I'll list all the colours that I've used today over at my blog. The link will be in the description in the YouTube video below. sentiment from the set that says welcome little one and some ranger archival jet black ink and because I'm stamping onto the Prismacolor pencils I want to use an ink that's gonna hold I've got some foam dots on the back of my panel and I'm mounting that onto a 
vanilla panel that's just a couple of mil larger. I'm going to mount this on to a vanilla top fold card that's 15 by 10 and a half. I'll see you again real soon with another card for Scrapbook Boutique, but until then, happy paper crafting, bye!